Well, this is the video where I die. <laughs> Level 18 of Doom right here, baby. My latest 18 pass, actually, and uh, it's a doozy. Look at that graph. And it doesn't look good, but it... I guess I've seen worse. <laughs> well, maybe. I mean, I mean... <laughs> There's definitely harder difficulties, but this might be uh, one of the hardest I've ever passed. So let's go. Radiation 239's chart patterns and speed is a lot like this throughout. It's 188 beats per minute, it's a little faster than Destination Talos, but far more relentless and even longer. So, <laughs> is only that one break that you see about a third through the song? Maybe about two fifths through the song, actually, I guess you could say, but that's it. There's, there's no other major breaks to really catch your breath. The closest is the one that's coming up over here, and I would hardly call this a break. It's just a little glitchy sound, and then we're back. <laughs> so in order to get through this, you've got to have the drive, the motivation, and more like self-motivation, and yeah. <laughs> and I guess that is the topic of this video that I want to talk about because the time that I played this um, I, 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 and even now I, I, I'm just kind of intimidated by playing 18s because it's just it's like you put a lot of effort into it and it could burn up all your stamina for the rest of the session and if you fail it's like all of your effort went to nothing <laughs> but, but this particular day I was feeling like I had the, the right motivation to go for this one. Like I was, I was playing higher speeds quite smoothly and controlled, just like I'm doing right now, and it's like, hmm. I like those accented notes there, by the way, that's a nice touch by the step artist. And anyway. <laughs> so, oh, and this is another awesome part of the song here, just musically wise, it just sounds really intense. Anyway, I'm getting... <laughs> I'm getting a little off track here, because motivation and drive is what I'm, I'm trying to talk about here, because when you say something like this, it's, just, I don't know, there's something very intimidating about it, and I think uh, other people would feel the same way as that in, in some aspects with some things in some songs and playing these sorts of things, so one tip that I can give you with that is maybe turn off the graph. <laughs> like sometimes nasal I see drainage. the graph and I'm like, e -e. yeah, I had nasal drainage there, but don't worry, I'll make it through the song. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit later, but yeah, the, so the graph there, because you see there's just so much stream for the duration of the song, it's like, holy jeez, that is a ridiculous amount of steps in this time period, and... It's like, do I really want to do that when I could be playing multiple other songs? Well, at this particular day, I felt up to it. I felt like I didn't want to stay on the 17 train, which is like all the time, you know? I, I, was, I was just like, no, no, I'm not going to stick to 17s and 16 ranges as being my tops. No, I'm going to go for an 18, especially since I'm feeling good. And here we are. <laughs> I do not regret it one bit. Although I haven't played 18 since because I, I still get that odd intimidation thing. Yeah, I, I really need to play more 18s more often because I definitely have the capabilities of passing them. It's just that I don't, I don't know. I just have an odd doubts in my mind before I start an 18, like if, if I'm gonna pass it or not. Even though I'm clearly capable. A passing an 18, I still have those little doubts. I, I think it's just because there's just so much of it, and it's like at the very peak of what I'm capable of, or at least that's what I think I am as of right now. Actually, I'm not, not too sure about that uh, when I think about it now, because when uh, when I'm playing songs, you know, I'm playing multiple songs in one day, 
and I'm just merely working up to the 18s, but if you think about it, then I'm playing an 18 plus the songs prior to that, so I am very likely capable of passing a 19. I just never really gave it a honest try. Yeah, I'm just kind of disappointed in myself in that. But one day, I definitely will. I, I just want to build my confidence on 18s first, more than anything, I guess. And uh, even though it was a while since I played this song and I still haven't played another 18 since, this is my declaration to myself and to you that I will play more 18s in the future. But for now, let's finish this 18. And you can see that I'm getting a little bit more tired as I'm... Yeah, but at the same time, I'm still playing controlled enough that I'm not dropping my combo significantly enough. Like, I had that floppy portion near the beginning of the graph there, but that's that was actually really the worst of it. That was just like a brain fart more than anything. It wasn't because I was too tired at that point or anything like that. It was just a thing of, eh, just a little hiccup there. Nothing sort of happens every so often. When you see that sort of thing happens, don't let it kill your motivation either. <laughs> It's another thing is that if you see something go a little bit awry, don't don't, don't necessarily quit out on it. I mean, it could turn into the best run of a song in your entire life, after all, because maybe maybe that little little pockmark on your run there will be actually motivation to more, come on. tell you to do better on the rest of the song to make up for it, you know? I mean, of course, if you're going for 100% or something like that, which I don't think anyone's ever done on this song, um, you know, you'd want to restart, but... <laughs> you know, it's, it's one of those things, uh, if, you're, if you're going for personal bests, try and use your past experiences to motivate you to continue on and improve, even when you're playing on the same song at this moment in time. Like I said before, I, I didn't want to just stick to 17s all the time, I, I want to push myself a little bit further, and here I am passing Radiation 239. Woohoo! Ha! Yes! Holy jeez! And with that, I'm going to end off the video here. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. I didn't die!